Recent violent attacks everywhere across Nigeria has prompted the National Assembly lawmakers to call for an urgent national meet for a lasting solution. The push starts from Zamfara lawmakers, including Abubakar Moriki in the House and Tijani Hayakara in the Senate. People are being slaughtered, slaughtered, Mr. Speaker. Human beings are being slaughtered. This cannot happen in this country. Something has to be done. The military operation Harun Kunama that was launched by President Muhammad Buhari to flush out the bandits is still in place and the such attacks are still happening unabated. Lawmakers say violence is everywhere and needs urgent solutions. Other parts of the country are suffering from this kind of thing. Just only yesterday, apart from the Boko Haram in Mubi, in Numan, Adamao State, a lot of people, the figure is not yet known, but a lot of children and women were slaughtered, full of women and children were slaughtered, according to newspaper reports by the Pachama militia. In Yola, we had a system we call Quanta Quanta. You cannot travel from Bauchi to Yola without being attacked. Even after the Maitasine case, and now we've gone front and back, it's either kidnapping in the uh, southeast or um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, in Kaduna, everywhere. They have agreed this time they should find lasting solutions, but they also appear not to agree on what the solutions are. Some say state police would be good, and for others, it's a no. Today, I will stand vehemently against the creation of state police because it will be abused by the governors. It's not just a question of police. It's a question of what can we do to make sure that if we should ever have state police, that they do not you know, become a weapon in the hands of politicians. And that can be done by having a centralized commission. They have settled for what they call a high-powered special committee to search for lasting solutions. Centers that have this privilege to be in this committee, you are carrying a huge responsibility for this country. Coming out of plenary, spokesman of the Senate, Ali Usabi, says the committee might include members of the House. I want by this committee to go in to look at the root causes of all of these things. So that with that, we can have a more comprehensive approach that will look at a total reform of the security infrastructure and architecture. That way, we can begin to provide a more sustainable solution. President Muhammadu Buhari's two key focus, security and corruption, appear to be facing steep resistance. From the National Assembly, Hiram Lakadi, Gotel News.